Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video I will be showing you how to configure a ring network with MRP using Hirschman network switches. So let's get started. Before we start the configuration on our network switches, we need to have the following information readily available. First, we need to know which network switch will be acting as a ringmaster. We need to know what's going to be the network recovery time interval necessary for our network. And we're going to need to identify the ports that will be connecting the ring. Lastly, you can define whether or not to enable the MRP ring diagnostics and the MRP VLAN as necessary. The topology that we're going to be using is shown in the following picture. We're going to have three Hirschman switches from the real switch family, all of them RS20, and one MAC102. We have determined that the network switch with node address 41 will be acting as ring manager and that the network recovery time will be 200 milliseconds. Also, the picture shows each one of the ports on every switch that we will be using to connect the ring. So with this information, we're ready to begin the configuration of the Hirschman switches. Here, I am already logged in into the four Hirschman network switches that we're gonna be configuring. So the next step is to navigate to redundancy and click on ring redundancy. By default, the MRP protocol is pre-selected. Based on the documentation, we know that node 41 is going to need the port 7 and 8 to connect to the ring. So we select port 7 and port 8 on the corresponding fields. The documentation also states that this node will be acting as the ring manager. So we'll click on the on radial button. We also adjust the ring recovery time to 200 millisecond. And to enable the mechanism, we're going to click on the on radial button under operation. Finally, to activate the settings, we're going to click on the set button. We're not going to be using the villain ID nor the advanced ring configuration slash diagnostics options at this moment. I will cover those in a different video. On the next switch, we're also navigating to redundancy and click on ring redundancy. By default, the MRP setting is selected, so we don't need to change any of that. The documentation says that node 71 will be using the ports 1 and 2 for the ring connection. So we're not going to change those. This is not going to be a ring manager and we're going to enable 200 milliseconds on the ring recovery. We enable the mechanism and we activate the MRP configuration. We move on to the next switch and it's almost like a rinse and repeat. Click on redundancy, select ring redundancy. The documentation states that node 81 will be using the ports 1 and 16. So we leave ring port 1, ring port 2, we adjust that to 16. This is not the ring manager. We synchronize the recovery time with to 200 milliseconds together as the rest with the switches. And we enable the operation and we'll click on set. We move on to the last switch. And one more time, we'll click on ring redundancy on the redundancy section and this switch is going to have ports 7 and 8 connecting to the ring it is not a ring manager and we click on 200 milliseconds and finally we enable the operation we click on set to activate it and we can see that some of the network switches are already telling us what is the current state of the ring redundancy exists but that the mac 102 is telling us that there is a configuration failure detected as well as the ring manager. And this is because the ring is not closed. And by that, I mean that one of the ports on either one of these switches is disconnected. In order to properly configure the MRP switches, you have to have the ring open. If you close the ring before setting up the MRP settings, you're going to create a network storm and that will cause all sorts of problems in your network. So only close the ring once you have finished configuring all your switches according to your MRP documentation. So finally, I'm going to connect the network cable to my switch on my ring manager. Now that the port is active and forwarding, we're going to reload the status 
to confirm that the ring is in full operation. So you can see in this section right here that says redundancy exists, and we can refresh the Mac 102 as well, redundancy exists. So that says that we have successfully configured our ring network topology using MRP protocol on these Hirschman network switches, and we have a fully redundant network. So guys, this is how you configure MRP on the Hirschman switches. Very easy, very simple. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.